this video i will discuss about the architecture of i as well as the architecture of four rod and cone cells we discuss about the uh, architecture of eyes here i'll take only the major uh, uh, things components uh, of uh, structure of eyes here i'll discuss uh, the human eye is a wonderful instrument relying on reflection and lenses to form image that you already know it consists of a lens and uh, it will we get the correct image yeah uh, relying on refraction and lenses to form image the structure of uh, eye has a various component which work together to facilitate vision the main component of eye is a cornea the it's a clear dome shaped structure located at the front of the eye see here at the front of the eye what we observed called it as a cornea it help to focus incoming light onto the lens behind this we observe the lens here we observe the lens see this cornea help to focus incoming light onto the lens and plays a crucial role in the eye's overall optical power the next one component what we observed called it as iris see just below this cornea we observe the iris this is a what we called it as a iris this is a colored part of the eye the central opening in the iris is called as a pupil see here the small opening we observe that is called is a pupil the amount of light entering into the eye depends upon the size of the pupil if we can observe a bright light the pupil will con, uh, it will minimize their size like iris has a muscles that can control the size of the pupil and regulates the amount of light entering the eye see it is a Uh, control the size of the pupil and regulate the amount of light entering into the eye by adjusting the size of the pupil this is a what we called it as a um, iris and here we observe the pupil so it will adjust the iris adjust the uh, muscles that control the size of the pupil and regulate the amount of light entering the eye by adjusting the size of the pupil then third uh, component what we observed is the lens lens is located behind the iris and the pupil the lens is transparent flexible structure that focuses light onto the retina once it fell the light is for, uh, uh, falls on the lens it will focus on the retina so this is what we called it as a retina and it changes the shape to allow the light to focus on object at different distances known as accommodation then once the light entering into the lens the retina uh, it uh, fall on a retina the retina is nothing but a thin uh, light sensitive layer it is a thin light sensor this is a, what we called it as a retina thin sensitive layer located at the back of the eye It, it contains a specialized cell called photoreceptor on the retina we observe normally a photoreceptor rod and cones are the photoreceptor we normally observe in a retina photoreceptor present in retina convert light into electrical signal so that's why we'll observe our vision our vision becomes complete or we can observe a particular type of objects the retina also contains other cells that process and transmit the signal to the brain through the optic now the fifth one component what we observed in the eye is a optic now the optic nerve is a bundle of nerve fiber that carries visual information from the retina to the brain they carry electrical signal from back of the eye and transmit the visual processing centers in the uh, brain so these are the major components structure uh, of uh, eye a uh, cornea 
pupil lens uh, iris then retina optical nerve see and the retina containing the two photoreceptor they are a uh, rod and cone cells see these rod and cone cells are called as a photoreceptor they are called it as a photoreceptor they are located in the retina of the eye they plays a very important role uh, in the process of vision by converting light into electrical signal only the light falls on the retina but it will turns into an electrical signal and the brain that uh, detect what kind type of components we observe the signals that are transferred to the brain through optic nerve so these are the structure of rod and cone cell as the name itself the rod cell looks like a rod whereas the cone cell here it looks like a cone whereas all other component present in the rod and the cone cell are same these photoreceptors are localized around the area near the center of the retina called as mucula macula which is the fundamentals of the retina uh, fundamental of the uh, retina you can observe the macula and even fovea okay uh, here it's a uh, uh, here we will observe the retina along with the here we are observing the rod and cone cells over that we will observe the macula, macula and fovea okay the macula uh, as well as the fovea the fovea is located in the center of uh, macula the macula is responsible for high resolution color vision provided by different type of uh, photo receptor okay uh, the both rod and cone cells are responsible for visual perception so these both are responsible for visual perception so they contains equal or actually the different in number rod and cone cells here we can observe the rod and as a here itself we can predict the rod cell is more compared to the cone cells but they differ in their structure and function see an overview of architecture of rod and cone cells we can uh, summarize this way see here we can some observe the rod cell and the cone cell how it appears the rod cell this one is a cone cell and uh, the small part of the retina will take in that the macula and fovea in that we will observe the uh, rod and cone cell the rod and cone cells are structurally uh, compartmentalized they consists of the five principal regions if you consider any uh, rod or the cone cell it consists of five principal uh, uh, regions the one is the outer segment this is the outer segment and the inner segment then uh, uh, we will observe the component called cilium and inner segment uh, nuclear region so this is a nuclear region and the final one to transfer the signals uh, from one cells to another that is a synaptic uh, region so these are the five region we observed under rod and cone cells the rod cells are photoreceptor uh, uh, cell in the retina of the eye they are long and cylindrical in shape the rod cells are long and cylindrical in shape they are more in number than cone cell that you already observed here the rod cells are more in number compared to the cone cells say uh, on average there are approximately 92 million rod cell in the human retina compared to 6 million cone cells so that means rod cells are more in number than cone cells rod cells are highly sensitive to light and are specialized for visions in a dim or low light for to observe the objects in a uh, dim or low light the rod cell actually participate they are sensitive they do not provide color visions but they will not provide any color vision or a fine detail perceptions they are found concentrated at the outer edge of the retina and are responsible for peripheral vision even for peripheral vision this is responsible they can detect motion 
these uh, rod cell can detect motion and provide visions in low light conditions i already discussed it is usually shows or the object we can visit uh, we can observe uh, the perception of the object is more clear in a low light or the clear, uh, low light vision uh, is observed in the uh, uh, using uh, rod cells the rod cell contain photo pigments called rhodo spin rhodopsin uh, the rod cells transmit the electrical signal from the rods to the ganglion cells in the retina this pathway is responsible for transmitting visual information to the brain now the cone cells are a cone shaped as the name itself indicates the rod cells are the long uh, cells cylindrical shape whereas the cone cells are the cone shape shaped uh, cells and uh, have a shorter and wider structure compared to rod cell they mainly concentrated on central region of the retina known as the fovea whereas the rod cell they are peripheral they are present in the outer edge of the retina whereas the cone cells are mainly concentrated in the central region of the retina known as a fovea the cone cell contain three type of photopigment but the rod cell will not contain any photopigments the these three uh, pigments are responsible for color vision and are more sensitive most sensitive to different wavelength like uh, short medium and uh, long wavelength they shows like a blue green red uh, wavelength they provide the ability to distinguish color and even it can able to show a uh, uh, fine details but the rod cell fail to observe or shows a uh, fine details the cone cells have a lower sensitivity to the dim light light compared to rod cell whereas the rod cell is sensitive towards a uh, uh, dim light whereas the cone cells are sensitive towards a bright light that is requires bright light conditions they are responsible for bright light vision whereas rod cells are responsible for dim light visions cone cell transmit the electrical signal to the ganglions for further processing and transmission of the brain okay these are the uh, things about the rod cell and the cone cell the difference as well as the similarities between the uh, these two the mainly the difference between the rod cell the functioning of the rod cells i discussed in this uh, video architecture of uh, rod cells as well as the cone cells thank you